Well, this is the new update, Trip to Paradise, Dream Big. Unfortunately, it seems that we will not indeed be able to dream big due to um, reasons I shall mention later. But anyways, this is the update of God right now. You know, just fucking sugar swan coming down from the sky, blessing us all with her presence. Anyways, we've got the usual daily gifts. Coffee cookie, um, of course. We have this thing. I don't know what reward you get yet, so cookie mastery machine as always. You've got treasure mastery for the speed treasure. It's kind of what I call it. We also got 7 anniversary countdown for about 300 crystals, which is not too bad. Remember that in between like the coupon code, there's no need for spacing. If not, you'll have not enough space to put in the whole like code. And here is our same thing as always. It seems they changed the UI a little bit by making the rank 1 and rank 2 um, prizes a little bit more bigger, which is cool. I like that. Anyways, we have Raid Run, cha a new Champions League, apparently. Let's see this. Yep, there we go. Yes, Champions League uh, Season 3 has finished. And wow, I got barely into the top. What the heck. Anyway, Season 4 has started. A little bit um, mildly. Not mildly. Very laggy. Laggy? Is that a word? With much lag. You know what, I'm not gonna dwell over it. Anyways, we've got this, we've got Trophy Race, we've got a new breakout session here, a new episode, of course. And then we have Team Fight Boost again, the Paradise Test, in which Fall Paradise and Winter Paradise have been open, all the last spring and summer have been closed. Now let's see here, this is our, uh, the Tula Cookie Sugar Sword. Let's take a look at her pet first. Sugar cube cherub. A solid and cold piece of sugar cube fell from the sugar cave. It is said that the iridescent feathers fell after this and mystical wind blew strong. As warmth circulated through the soulless body, thoughts began to grow and sugar cube cherub awoke from a long dream, now possessing beautiful wings resembling those of the feathers owner. Can his pet paint the entire world? Sweet wonders. Who knows man, who knows? Depends on who you ask. Now Sugar Swan. In the beginning, when the sweet energies danced and mixed chaotically, a single swan wrapped in a noble and radiant light emerged atop a delicate thread of sugar. With just some powerful stroke of its colossal wings, she breathed life into the turbulent land, transforming it into a warm embrace. And close within its luminous wings, the world gave, gave birth to sweet sparkling sugar mountains and cream seas. But when the leaves began to fall one by one, and the world turned cold, the swan embarks on a journey carried by the fierce winds to restore balance to all things. Finally, on the day of her return from the long journey, all the birds of the desert paradise soar high into the sky, celebrating the arrival of the swan with a grand festival. Whenever, wherever her sacred feathers touch, an infinite cycle of life will bloom and flourish once more. Yeah, that's why. That's it's it's literally just God this time. I said, God is a swan, and she has, she, and this is, and unfortunately, God can give and God can also take away, and this is what's been taken away from me. There is uh, no F to here. There is only divine sugar feathers that possess deep and profound strength. Could it be that enduring sparkle over the years is thanks to a heart that watches over even from the unseen places? I don't know. I think it's enduring sparkle is um consisted of the destitute tears of of f2p players who have to deal with this all right look anyways let's take a look at the skill here now you slide or jump to go up or down but you don't actually have to have anything to activate as you can see she has an automatic magnetic ability and now she rushes forward and it's all butterfly dance honestly it seems more like butterfly than that well Swan's wings to me in that sense, but who knows. And we have fallen to a hole, obviously. Not a big fan of the fact that like, you have to buy the legendary um, cookie potions. And those costs are like, those, those are horrific, alright? Let me just tell you, the cost is horrific. I've heard that you need at least like about 200,000k diamonds to like max out a single legendary. And that's not even counting your... Um, magic candy ingredients and all so that's you know it's deaf sisters as always you gotta love it 
By the way, God gives us and God takes us away, and this is a rather stingy God, if I do have to say so. You may have given me life, but you did not give me um, presence away from this soul-crushing pain that I currently feel. It seems that even God does not like to destitute people. I'm kidding. Or am I? I don't know. Does God like money? We shall never know. Behind that sparkly, elegant exterior lies a heart that is cold as any other, as it has come from the primordial chaos. You know what the like, Sugar Swan's backstory reminds me of the all those like origin stories like the Chinese one because I read a lot of Chinese novels and a bunch of the time they won't make up their own like origin stories they just be like in the beginning there was just a bunch of primordial order and chaos and out of the blue one day they rose the Jade Emperor or King or whatever they want to call him and he organized the elements into five parts um, Fire, water, earth, wind, gold, I mean, whichever one I really. And then he divided the world into yin and yang, so there's that. Anyways, yin and yang. It always feels so weird to me when I see or right? when, I, when I watch right, English YouTubers, and then they call yin and yang yin, yin and yang, because it's like, well, Chinese just, well, I mean, maybe some dialects. Probably, maybe Hokkien or something. I'm not too sure, please correct me, but like, you know, Mandarin Chinese is, um, we don't say yang, we say yang, I'm pretty sure. But not yang as in like sheep, but like just yang, I'm pretty sure. Like ying, ye, no, sorry, yang just feels wrong or something. Like, I don't even know the correct pronunciation, but even I know that feels kind of wrong. For me, I'm being a bit too nitpicky here, honestly. I like, I hardly even know Chinese. I just read Chinese web novels. Lord. <laughs> Anyways, Sugar Swan, yes. Look at her. God and her ethereal creatures of paradise. Next, she's gonna be impaled on a... Alright, you know, maybe don't make that joke. But God, surely, is very stingy, huh? Oh well. It must be fun, I guess. If you're all powerful, it must be nice to see the little, little, little creatures you created struggling around in the muck and dirt. But all this conversation about God is something for another time. Look at this, you need at least level 2 of a magic candy. And level 14, you know how much that is? Oh my lord, let me try to do level 13, let me show you how much diamonds. 14,000, alright. 14,000, assuming we need this, 14,000. For at least the next like three levels or so 14 times 3 28 32 somewhere around at 32,000 42,000 i don't even know at this point it's a bit ridiculous if you ask me and the shop really doesn't make up for it because the diamonds are restricted to the, the, the premium club members and if you want to get this big package here you need like this legendary star on top but these are not only very hard to get you can well, you have much more other things you can use for that also. They don't even sell a magic candy. What is this? At least I mean, have one, right? At least the last event had like a singular candy ingredient for Abyss. But whatever. I'm just gonna star her for now. I mean, say what you will, but I am a sucker for this beautiful, elegant aesthetic. Also, I want to play God. So, let's just do that, I guess. Let's star her. Anyways, that is um today's F2P suffering for, for now. Alright. Oh, seven anniversary will be in a few days. Let's hope they do better. And yeah, that's kind of it. I love the art and the music as always. Ta-da! Anyways, remember to play and don't miss out. And thanks for watching. Love ya.